That's the first time Chelsea have been in the last eight of the Champions League for seven years. Yeah. Very good performance tonight. Got you yeah, there. very good performance. Unbelievable effort. Unbelievable team effort. Like uh, from the guys on the pitch, the guys on the on the bench, even the guys <laughs> on the stands. Yes. So could really feel it that that we totally wanted, and uh, we go through deserved. It was a big win for us. Yeah, everyone was involved, but you scored a fantastic breakaway goal, a yeah. high speed counter attack, yeah. everything you wanted, and that's why you picked those three players. We were discussing <laughs> yeah. before the match. Yeah, yeah, that we have the possibility also to to hurt them maybe themselves on a counter attack. They tried to press us very high in the first half. But they opened up some some spaces in the in the back of, of the midfield and yeah we could exploit it and then score a fantastic goal that gave us a lot of confidence. After that we had chances to even uh, uh, shortly after to, to make a second goal and, and decided it was not possible. So second half were many minutes where we also suffered. But uh, we were ready to do what is necessary to do. And uh, this is uh, another top performance with a deserved win. Yeah, in, in attack, in midfield, they took control. And yeah. at the back again, another yeah. clean sheet. You must be so happy. Yeah, and this is, I mean, we missed today Andreas, who, who, got, who got ill overnight. We missed, missed Thiago since many weeks, which are big personalities mm. and big quality for us. And Sue steps up. We tell him in the morning today, you play. He steps up and gives a performance like this. And, and I think that the guys protect themselves. Defensive work is about teamwork, it's about uh, courage, but also about reliability, that, that they can feel safe around each other. And uh, this is what it takes, plus a good goalkeeper and, and a bit of luck. And it's another clean sheet. Did they have a penalty claim in the first half as Piliqueta with a hand across? Yeah, but I didn't see it. Is it? Is it penalty? It's yeah, questionable, I think but that maybe. Yeah. Aspi got a bit frightened because his ball was a bit too short. So I did not see it, but I, I, I was a bit frightened on the sideline. Yeah, that was a close call. Not many teams get to enjoy playing against Atleti, Atleti Madrid, no. Madrid and it, it felt like you enjoyed it. Well, we know that if we cannot find solutions with offensive play, we, are, we will always rely on our physical strengths and, and uh, the capability to play an intensive game because we are used to it in Premier League. So we were absolutely not afraid and uh, to, to put it maybe on a physical level this game if we don't get uh, offensive solutions all the time because it is hard to 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 create chances against them and it's hard to enjoy games they they are a very tough team to play but we are as well so uh, we enjoyed the battle i think the guys were, were totally on totally sharp and uh, everybody enjoyed the competition and we were super hungry to go through and you're looking forward to friday's draw friday's the draw i did not know it yeah <laughs> of course yeah, of course, it's a quarter-final. This is, uh, means there's only four four games left uh, in, in the competition. Eight teams, four games. This is uh, it's a big step and uh, feels, feels excellent. Well done, Tyke. Thank you. Well, of course, uh, for Thomas Tuchel at the moment, his team's gone 597 minutes uh, in the Champions League without conceding a goal. I should say also Frank Lampard's team in the yeah. sense that obviously got them through to uh, this stage of the competition. But he's, 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 he's got them playing, he's got the togetherness, they've got an energy. They've got the togetherness. It's, it's, the only thing that's, that's surprising is how quickly he's put his, his personality on this team. Um, Always, I still think the squad is as good as any bar in Man City's in the Premier League that's been assembled, but they're working so well together. There's a togetherness. Um, the move passing through the lines. Like you said, he's got that base of five that sets up all the attacks and then he's got speed on the on the counter and, and the, the off the pitch, the harmonious way that they seem to be celebrating together. Like Mendy run 100 yards and we, when, when you're footballers and your goalkeeper's popping up, Rio was always the, the first one there at celebrations, <laughs> let me tell you. But... When the goalkeeper's there as well, you know that they're all together. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of easy to be together when you're winning, though. Yeah. There's, there's no question about that. Yeah. It's, it's, we'll find out a little bit more if they have a sticky spell. Yeah. But so far, you have to say he's done a terrific job. Yeah, the acid test will come when they have a little bit of a dip in form. But up to now, you can do nothing but praise him and his squad. And I think he's built a spirit so far, which has been fantastic to see. Um, and... There's a confidence about this team when they haven't got the ball. When they've got it, they've got a confidence and they play out from the back and we might look at that in a little while. But there's a confidence actually without the ball that they're, they're physically ready and they're capable of getting the ball back yeah. as and when they want. And they, they just took the ball off of this Atletico team every opportunity they had today. I think we all enjoyed N'Golo Kante's performance, mm. didn't we? Ah, oh, he was sensational. So, like, he seems to have 
not only does he have the physical capabilities across the piece, but he's got that 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 sort of canny ability where he just he's in the right place at the right time. Players don't get round him. He's he's like having a having two men in there. In one, he's in, unbelievable. Look here, he just walking, he's walking, and then he'll decide when he takes it. He blocks lines. He's good, you know, and and still to have the energy where he keeps starting to take and that energy to break forward in the last 90th minute as well. He's, he was fantastic. He's back to his best. He, he's like a magnet to the ball. He looks like the Kante that played for Leicester in the year they won the Premier League again, in the last few weeks that we've seen. And, I and think, the first season of Tour at Chelsea when yeah. they won the league and the team that won yeah. the World Cup, yeah. France. And, and what, he, what, what I like about him is that he, he's doing both sides of the game now. He, he, he's, he's winning the ball. Like I said, he's a magnet to the ball when they're def in defensive situations. But when there's a turnover and a transition, and the last goal says it perfectly, is that he can get up and beyond things. Yeah. This one, he turns defence into attack here. Yeah. And he's got the capability to do that. I mean, Callum should do better here, I think. Stands him up and he, he should get a, a shot on target or something and make the keeper work. But he was a, 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 a joy to watch today, both he, sides of the game. And he, he's underestimated for his technical ability. He, oh, when people say... Breaks he, the lines. Oh, he, he yeah. dribbles, he can pass, he's, he's fantastic. Yep. Um, can Chelsea win this competition? You wouldn't have probably said that a few weeks ago, but they can, can't they? I mean, it's... It'd be nice, Gary, wouldn't it, in Istanbul, watching what? Chelsea in the Champions you, League final? Be, yeah. <laughs> Against who? <laughs> <laughs> How do you we'll see take it? it. Listen, they won't be worried about anyone no. at the moment. I'm well, sure about that. With this team. I don't think many teams would like to draw Chelsea in That's the That's what I was going to say. A good, a good place for this two call and his team will be that not many teams will want they, They've put themselves in a position where I think they'll be confident going into most games if they yeah. whoever they get in this draw. I wonder he's got uh, a, a nice smile at the moment, two call Chris. There's a real sense of the same page. Everyone's together at Chelsea at the moment. He's knitted a very Awkward team to play against together. Yeah, he talked about an unbelievable uh, team effort tonight. This is a team who are growing in confidence mm. and belief week in uh, now. And uh, I thought they were phenomenal tonight. Over the two legs, they were the team with the real intent. Now, clearly Thomas Tuchel would like more goals from this team. But the fact they are so stingy, what's that, uh, two goals they've conceded in 13 games, is an incredible record. And nobody wants to face Chelsea. No, no, we'll come back to that. The two goals they score tonight uh, are both breakaways. Uh, and Atletico didn't offer an awful lot, did they? But that perhaps masks the fact that, as you say, they did play quite a lot of football. But interesting that the three of the big signings combined for the first one. Yeah, and I think they're the three signings who still haven't found their, their best form and more would have been expected from them. But... Absolutely devastating on the counter. And Timo Werner has struggled in front of goal. I think, you know, that's a... We have to say that, but in terms of assists, I think that's his uh, seventh assist uh, of the season. And he, he's been, a, he's been a, a, a brilliant team player. The weight of the pass there now may get uh, a, a little bit lucky, goes through Savage's legs, but the, the pace of the pass allows Ziyech to come on to at first time. Wondered whether the keeper could do uh, a little bit better, but then you're thinking with Chelsea's defence, this is, this is tie over essentially, this goal. Yeah. No, it did feel like that, absolutely. First goal felt big and, and they got it. You're right, seven assists, ten goals for, for Werner. Uh, and then, again, obviously with Atletico pushing on the break. I mean, Kante will come back to him in a moment. That's an unbelievable run. Um, I think Emerson's first touch is to drill it. Wow. And this is a brilliant finish again. The weight of the pass, absolutely perfect from Pulisic. This was, you know, right at the, uh, the end of the game. It's, it's a wonderful uh, finish. Goes across uh, the goalkeeper into the far corner. And Chelsea home and dry, and it was a, a, a big performance, a strong performance, <laughs> and a team and a squad who yeah. who are together. Yeah, well, that tells you again, doesn't it? Those three uh, either injured or, or suspended on the on the sidelines, all very very much part of uh, the winning. Now, a couple of officiating moments. One certainly that might have affected tonight's outcome early on, with the decision not to award a penalty or to review mm. uh, with VAR. This. It is a little, Paul. You're not convinced, uh, certainly not as convinced as I am, that this is a penalty or a red card. Um, uh, look, I, I think he goes down too easily. I think if uh, Asper Laqueta, you know, makes, makes a mistake and he, he does give the referee or VAR a decision to make, but I think that it's uh, Caresco who sees it is not going to get onto the ball and there's not enough contact for him to go down in that fashion. So, on that basis, I don't... Sure, but... I, I don't there's not enough. Why does he throw himself to the floor? Because like if that? you don't go down, you don't get penalties. Um, We've learned that. Well, listen, if he thought he had a chance of getting the ball, surely, you know, that was that was oh. at nil-nil. I assume it's instinct. I mean, level. as it goes, obviously, if you give the penalty 
and you're saying it's not, you're absolutely... But he needs to change his instinct, doesn't he? <sighs> if that's his instinct to hit the floor. Hmm. But if he gives the penalty, it's a red card, double jeopardy. Has to be a red card, obviously, because it would be a goal-scoring opportunity denied. Yeah, but so that, therefore... couldn't, that couldn't have been crossing uh, Carrasco's no, I wouldn't think so, mind, no. you know, in that moment. You see, do, does he... Does, does he, he impede re... him? Does he, does impede, he impede him, him enough? No, I don't think so. Well, I think Mendy's getting the ball. Well, does he, does he decelerate in that situation? Look, there's not enough for him to fall over like that. That's theatrical, and I'm, I'm glad the penalty wasn't you awarded don't like because divers. of that. I, I accept that, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a foul. At the it other end... At the other end, uh, there was a little bit of stuff going on between Rudiger and Savic. And Savic falls for it in the end. He should know better than this, shouldn't he? As daft yeah. as yeah, this I think, is. Yeah, a little bit of frustration from, mm. from Savic. There's a, there's a corner. Uh, there's a coming together. I think the referee warned them, uh, yeah. both the players, uh, the previous corner. And uh, it's a red card, really, for stupidity as much as anything else. Now, you could argue yeah. Rudiger, you know, I don't know whether that hurts too much or not but he goes down uh, he does throw an elbow so I think it's uh, you know the referee's got that one spot on yeah a night of frustration for Atletico clearly aren't the team they were but that's to take nothing away so, yeah, you mentioned that no one will want to play them I mean are they more than outsiders more than even contenders are they amongst the favourites for this competition I mean they are they are not giving anything away at the moment. Yeah, well, I do change my mind you do? every week. You do? That's <laughs> why I'm asking. Do I think Chelsea can win? Absolutely. Can or will? Just, uh, I don't think they will. Right. But I think it's, but they you could. Know, it's a possibility just because of the way they are defending at this moment in time. Now, they need to improve in forward areas. I think Thomas Tuchel certainly knows that. But the way they're defending, you know, they've probably got the best defence in the competition. Really? Well, name, name a better one. City? Bayern? Mm, no, so sure. Chelsea in Chris's large group of could win the Champions League <laughs> contenders. Still to come tonight, defending European champions.